Hello guys, welcome back to our accounts payable end user transaction processing series. So in this video, I will demonstrate about end-to-end -end process of vendor down payment process steps in SAP FICO. So we will start with first. So basically, there are five steps here in vendor down payment process steps. So the first step is creation of down payment request. So in this case, or in this first step, basically, we'll be creating a down payment request. So the down payment request always be considered as a noted item here. This is not a financial document wherein the account balances of this vendor or the GL will not be updated here. GL in the sense the recon account. Then the next step is posting of down payment. So basically, we'll be posting a down payment here with reference to the down payment request created in the first step here. Then the third step is posting of vendor invoice. So we will post the vendor invoice here. So this invoice will be posted without reference to the purchase order. So this is kind of a, a small item purchase invoice we will posting here with the transaction code AP60. Then post step is transfer posting or nothing but the clearing of down payments with reference to this vendor invoice. And the last step is clearing vendor item. So basically all of the items will be open after doing this process will be performing here with clear vendor items. Uh, posting transaction code which is F-44 so now so now let us start with first step which is creation of down payment request so as to create down payment request first we have to enter transaction code F-47 so in F-47 first we have to enter down document date posting date and if you see here document type key is defaulted here by SAP system automatically then we have to maintain the uh, reference here. Maybe we can select as down payment request. Then we have to enter down payment uh, document headed text. We can consider as DP request here. Then we have to enter <coughs> vendor account for which we have to post down payment. Then we have to enter the special GL indicator, which is A. So basically, A is for down payments. Then we have to click on new items. Now we have to enter amount here. Now enter on enter due on date. You can enter the text also here. Click on simulate button here or the document overview. Okay. Now click on post button here. Now our down payment request is created. Now click on document and click on display here. Okay. So this is how our down payment request is created. You can see this down payment request in vendor line item. So we have to go to transaction code FBL1M. Enter this vendor code or the supplier code. In Yasuhana, we call it as a business partner here. Click on all items. Then you can select basically this is down payment request is nothing but the noted item. You can select the noted item here. I'm clicking on execute button here. Now you see here the down payment request is created with thousand INR rupees here okay now the next step is creation of or posting of down payments so so as to post down payment we use transition code f-48 so enter document date so document type kz kz is nothing but the vendor payments is defaulted here enter a reference here basically it's a down payment you can mention down payment here now we have to select the account for which we have created down payment request and we have to select special GL indicator. Special GL indicator A we use for uh, this down payment. Then we have to select bank account here. Okay. Then we have to enter amount here. Then we can enter text here. For example, down payment. We have to enter the profit center also. Now click on request. Okay, so yeah, we have to enter value fields also. Okay, click on request here. Oh, sorry, we have to select correct profit center. So click on here and select correct profit center for our company code. Okay, now click on request. Yeah, the down payment request which we have created in earlier step is available here. Select this down payment request and click on down payments here. Now you see here 
the two line terms are appearing one is for bank so now here bank is created and uh, vendor is debited here now click on document and click on simulate now you can click on post button here now our down payment accounting entry is posted now you can click on document and display now you see here down payment entry is posted here now you can see this down payment <coughs> here in uh, your vendor master uh, line items click on refresh here now if you see here your down payment request is cleared and now your down payment the actual payment is basically the advance payment is open here now we will post vendor invoice for this down payment now enter transaction code fb60 to post vendor invoice here select the vendor here click on invoice you can refer my earlier uh, uh, video which is created for how to enter vendor invoice for the reference enter thousand amount then select GL account then enter cost center since this is cost 11 this GL is cost 11 we have to select cost center for this line item I'm selecting cost center here Then click on simulate okay now you see here system shown the message here that down payment or current asset exists because for the same vendor we have already created down payment so because of that this information message is displayed here click on continue okay now the accounting entry is like expense account debit to the vendor account credit click on post button okay now you can see this document in vendor line in terms by just refreshing the screen uh, now you can see here this vendor invoice line item is appearing here now we have to clear the down payment so as to clear the down payment we have to go to t code f-54 enter the document date posting date again if you see here the document type is k is selected here you can mention reference and document header text further we have to enter vendor account for which we have to do the clearing here now you see here the relevant invoice basically now the earlier step we have posted invoice vendor invoice this vendor invoice is appearing here if you have multiple line items under one invoice you can select particular item here okay, okay. now click on down pay process down payments you see here this down payment the actual down payment that we have posted is appearing here just double click on the line item okay. and click on post button here our down payment clearing is happened here click on display to see this accounting entry okay yeah now go to vendor line items and refresh this line item you can see this entry here now the last step is like clearing of vendor line items if you see here now this vendor invoice and this last clearing posting basically which is still in open item status that we have to clear here so that the balance of this vendor will be <coughs> nullified here now let us go to last transaction which is f-54 so basically f-54 we use to clear vendor accounts enter vendor account here If you have particular selection you can do by selecting these radio buttons now click on open items you see these two items are already selected here now click on post button or you can do a click on here on document for you and then document simulate and then click on post button here now our clearing entry is also posted for vendors yeah now you can see this clearing entry here in the vendor uh, ledger basically click on the refresh button now you see everything is uh, green here basically everything is clear here now you see you you might be wondering why still there is a thousand rupees in credit because this is noted item as i said earlier this noted item is not actual line item or actual accounting document which do not update 
GL balances. Now, if you remove that, you will see the vendor account is become zero here. Now, if you want to see only special GL transaction, for example, this down payment one, you can select the special GL and click on execute button. You will see here special GL indicator here, A here, which is for down payment request and actual down payment. I hope this video will help you here. Okay, thanks.